Perfectly Clear offers an optional set of controls so you can fine-tune your image before saving. Called Finishing Tools, this set of adjustments let you manually adjust the tone and color of an image to allow for small tweaks or even big changes. You'll find these controls at the bottom of the editing panel. If you don't see the editing panel, press the tab key to open it, or click the small triangle along the right edge of the screen. First, apply any preset or adjustment to modify your photo to taste. Next, click to open the finishing tools controls. Here you'll find 10 essential controls to fine tune your photo. Finishing tools are the final adjustments you're likely to apply to get the perfect look or image. Now you don't have to leave perfectly clear to make those final tweaks. This is a big time saver and lets you treat every image with precision to get the perfect look. Finishing tools should be used after taking advantage of your favorite perfectly clear preset and are adjusted image by image. Finishing tools are not part of a preset, rather they are subjective controls that you can tweak for each image. The 10 controls in the finishing tools section let you adjust with a dual direction slider. All of the tools are set to zero to start, but you can drag to the right to increase a value or to the left to subtract. This flexibility gives you even greater control over each image. You can use one or more of the following sliders to taste. Color temperature. Try moving the slider to the right, correct a photo taken with a lower color temperature of light. You can move the temperature slider to the left to correct a photo taken with a higher color temperature of light. Tint. This overrides the white balance to compensate for a green or magenta tint. Increase tint by dragging to the right to add magenta. Decrease tint by dragging to the left to add green to the image. Exposure. This slider affects the overall image brightness. It is like opening and closing the aperture on a camera which controls the total amount of light. Contrast. This slider affects mid-tones mostly. As you increase contrast, the middle to dark areas will be darker and the middle to light areas will become brighter. If you use a negative value, then the image tones are inversely changed as you decrease the contrast. Highlights. This controls the brighter areas of an image. Drag to the left to recover blown out highlights or to the right to brighten highlights while minimizing clipping. Shadows. This affects the darker areas of an image. Drag to the left to darken the shadows while minimizing clipping. Conversely, you can drag to the right to brighten shadows and recover shadow details. Whites. This slider controls clipping of the white point. Drag to the left to reduce clipping and highlights. Drag to the right to increase highlight clipping. Blacks. This slider controls clipping of the black point. Drag to the left to increase clipping in the shadows. Drag to the right to decrease shadow clipping. A lower value gives you a purer black. Vibrance. Vibrance is a useful tool to adjust saturation in specific areas. It is useful to minimize clipping as color approaches full saturation. This means that it changes the saturation of all lower saturated colors with less effect on the higher saturated colors. Practically, it tends to affect areas of blue and green with greater effect. Saturation. This slider adjusts the saturation of all image colors equally. A value of negative 100 produces a monochrome image, while plus 100 doubles the saturation. Once you've applied any finishing tools, it's easy to tone them down with blending. If you decide that a set of adjustments is too much, just use the blend slider to bring back the original image. As you drag to the left, the finishing tools are mixed back with the previous image state. This concludes our look at finishing tools. Be sure to check out the graduated filter controls if you'd like to selectively adjust your image with similar controls.